My brothers and sisters, many of us, mashallah, we are Muslimin, we read our salah, we try our best to obey Allah's instruction, but we lack in that sometimes we are sitting without saying anything, yet we could have declared the praise of Allah in some way. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. Think of it. Use those moments to say it whilst you are driving, whilst you are walking, whilst you are talking. Utter the praise of Allah. It could be your last few words. Declare anything. Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. There is a narration where the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, "There are two words that are so light on the tongue, so heavy on the scale of good deeds, and so loved by the most merciful. They are Subhanallah wa bihamdihi." Subhanallah al -azim. Imagine the hadith says so light on the tongue. Why don't we use our tongue to say these words? I guarantee you I'm guilty of it as well. Sometimes days pass or at least a day has passed and those particular words we have not yet uttered them with proper concentration. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah al -azim. The narration says they are so heavy on the scale of good deeds. Who wouldn't want to do good deeds? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. Today, if we had to place for Salatul Fajr and Dhuhr and Asr, if we had to place a monetary figure on the position of sujood here, a lot of people would rush to the masjid to say we are collecting 500 riyal today and here is the money. The first four who come here in the front will collect a thousand perhaps and the others will collect 200 and so on. People will fight for the first soft. Believe me, the reality is there is something much more valuable than wealth that awaits us at every moment if only we seize the opportunity. If you utter the word Subhanallah wa bihamdihi Subhanallah al -Azim, the reward of it is far greater than anything material you can have. And yet it is so simple to utter. And over and above that, we find ourselves guilty of not uttering these words. So we should seize the opportunity of time by being responsible. Think about this particular free time you have. It may not be there. If your tongue is not occupied in anything, occupy it in the praise of Allah. It doesn't cost you anything. No one is going to charge you for the muscles of your tongue moving. Nobody, in fact, will charge you for the movement of your mouth. Not at all. Rather, we would be being paid to say that in terms of reward.